everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now today I have got a haul for you guys. This one is very exciting because there's some bits that I picked up with my birthday money which is very exciting. If you didn't know, I turned 26 on the 29th of April. I'm saying the date because I'm not sure when this video is going up. So rather than saying last week, my birthday was actually two or three weeks ago, um, it is, um, it was on the 29th, which was fun, I turned 26, I don't look it, I look probably five years younger than that, um, but yeah, I had a lovely time, and I was very lucky to receive um, some money, so I decided to go out and treat myself to one or two bits that I wouldn't usually buy. Now, there's two bits that I can't share with you. One was a makeup brush and it was one from Zoeva and it was the uh, one of the eyebrow ones. It was the soft eyebrow uh, brush. I will share them with you on my social media so they probably will be in a picture or on my story or somewhere. I also got an Illamasqua eyebrow powder as well and it's in like one of the little compact powders. It was really cute. My um, makeup artist for my wedding um, used these two products, well she used the brush and the eyebrow product on me when she was doing my trial the other week and I really loved them so I decided to purchase some for myself just to see if I can work on my brows a little bit better than what I already do. So they're currently in transit now with Hermes or is it Herms? I don't know what they're called but they're not a very good delivery company. I know everyone complains about them. I did do the click and collect to get them delivered to my store rather than paying like the £4 postage. So they should be here very soon. I hope they're here before we go away otherwise I won't be picking them up now until Tuesday which is very disappointing. But without further ado let's get into it. So I've got a H&M and a Primark one and I did also pick up something from New Look as well. What do we start with? Shall we start with the excite? Let's start with the New Look first because I did put it in the Primark bag. I'm all for um, helping the environment and saving money by not picking up loads of bags. So I got these mum jeans from New Look. They were very like on a whim because I was walking around the store and I'd already got like a couple of other things in my hand and I saw them just to the side and was like they look interesting and you know what they fit like a glove. They are amazing. So I got these. They're in a light jean wash and then around where all the seams are and in the pockets they go to a bit of a darker jean. So I'm not usually a fan of something so light but um, I quite liked the shape on them of me and I just thought Do you know what we're heading into summertime now so I'll try something a little bit different. So these are really cute. They've just got the two pockets on the front, the two pockets on the back and then they just go down and then at the bottom they've got little turn ups on which I really love. I just think that is um, a really nice little vibe to a jean. I don't really have my jeans where they're just full on straight. I do like to add a little turn up to them. And then they have the belt loops around as well. Now they did sag a little bit on my back just because I've got quite an arched back. But for jeans to fit me around my hips and my bum and my thighs, I have to get them in a size 12, sometimes a 14. But it does mean like around the bit of my back there, there is a bit of a gap. But these would look really lovely with a belt on too. So they are called the Tory. Now I don't know how new they are because I don't really shop in New Look anymore. I just decided to have a little pop in. And they got one or two nice little bits in there as well. And these were $25.99 which I don't think is too bad for jeans to be fair. So yeah I picked up these. These are really lovely. And they will work really well with I was thinking like a nice t-shirt like this and then just having it um cinched in and in a knot or something I just think that would look really cool and then Primark I went a little bit crazy in Primark because I'm just going to put the bag down there because it is huge like I got I got quite a few bits in there but the lady just decided to get a massive bag then it was really windy outside so my bag was like flying everywhere um, I again just picked up bits for the honeymoon with that being at the end of November going into December um, there's not really a lot of summer stuff on sale so I'm not just going crazy but if I see a few bits that I like then I will pick them up 
But the first thing I did get, not honeymoon wise, but I picked up this bra. This was £6 and I got it. <coughs> I have to size up a little bit for it to fit around um, my... Well, it's not really around your waist, is it, up there? But to get it to fit around my size, I have to go up quite a big size, which is embarrassing. But anyway, I'm more for comfort than style. Um, these are really, really comfortable. They are cushioned at the back, so they're a little of a push-up, but not to the extreme. And they are wireless too. And I really love this. It's like a nice silk it's not full-on silk let's face it it's from Primark but it's that really nice silky style um fabric it's a bit like a sloggy style is that the right word a sloggy crop top bra but these are so comfortable and then they go a little bit girly with a little bit lace on the back I have this in like a burgundy colour and it is the most comfortable bra I have ever owned so I had to get my hands on another one and so I picked up these shorts they're not very me they are a Dalmatian print. I think they are really cute. They're just nice little beach shorts, um, nice and loose on you. They're quite thin as well, but that's perfect. Just so you can wear them over a bikini um, or just if you are walking around the shops or anything. I had to size up in these and get a 14. They were fine around my waist, but around my bum, they were very tight. And I was like, I'm just gonna size up just to feel comfortable in them. Cause otherwise I'd be worried that you'd be able to see my underwear or I'm just going to be showing a little bit more than what you really want to see. So I got these. Um, they've got the little belt around here just to cinch them in a little bit. And I just think these are really cute. They were only £4. And Primark has got so many shorts in this style in different prints, different colours. I just think they're really beautiful and really handy for a holiday. So I got these. I have gone a little bit swimwear mad over the past couple of months for the honeymoon. But... I only really owned one or two bikinis before and they're really old so I thought I wanted something a little bit nicer and I know I could spend a lot more elsewhere but Primark are killing it at the moment with the swimwear and I am loving it. So I got this bikini, this really nice blue and white striped one, very nautical themed. Um, so again these Bus, I've got like a bus cup on the inside so there's a little bit of padding in there which is great that's what I really love in a um, bikini just because I've not very got big boobs so I like to have something that emphasises them a little bit more um, so I can feel a little bit more confident in myself rather than walking around feeling really flat chested so um, this is quite a small busted one that doesn't even make sense. There's not a lot to it, which is what I'm trying to say. Um, but it's got the cute little plasticky ring detail in here, so they've got a little cut out. So again, I'm going to have to be careful when sunbathing because I'm going to end up with dodgy tan lines. And then at the back, it just scoops really low and then fastens here again with the same plasticky blue detailing. These can come undone really easy, so just bear in mind that. I picked this up in a size 12 and this was £6 and then I got the matching bottoms so these look huge but they're actually really they come up really high so they're a high cut on um, the leg here so they're not as big as what they look like they're not granny pants whatsoever um, they're high waisted ones but they have a really high cut here so they're actually very flattering and then they just have like this little mini belt detailing round the top just to add a little bit extra and make them look really special I love these again I picked them up in a size 12 and these were five pounds and these look really cute together and the final swimwear item I did get let me sort this out was a swimming costume so I got this really lovely khaki colour one again it does go quite um, high around the leg and then it's got this belt too with a bronzy rose gold um, metal loop detail in here just to tie the belt around and then it scoops a bit lower at the back and this is just a really lovely one again got a bit padding around the bust area which is what I like and it's just really lovely and um, this fits like a dream I was really worried because another costume that I tried on Primark I had to size up and um, try on the 12 because the uh, 14 because the 12 was ridiculously tight but this one I think because it's quite a thick 
jersey style fabric um, it, it's really flattering so I really like this it's just got the scoop neckline here and I just think this is really lovely and you can use it without the belt as well if you want to I mean let's face it you don't need a belt on a, um, on a costume but I just think it's really cool a bit more fashionable so as I said I got it in a 12 and this was £12 so to be fair when you compare it to other shops it's not that expensive at all wear that costume I'm very excited about this honeymoon I feel like I'm going a bit over the top coming to think of it with swimmer but we're there for 10 days so like a costume every day is not ridiculous is it? Please tell me it's not. Anyway let's move on. To H&M. My H&M's quite good. They always tend to have the, the same stuff in every year but it's quite nice going in there for basics. Um, so what I did get and what I did go in for was a zip up hoodie because all of mine got really old and tatty but I wanted something a little bit more cosier and a bit thicker so I picked up this really lovely baby pink jersey zip up hoodie. It's got like a marl effect to it so it's got like a bit of a stony colour in there with the pink and I just think it's really lovely. It is so soft. I tried it on in the dressing room because I wasn't sure whether I needed to pick up a 14 and I had other items to try on as well but this is insane. I really cannot wait to just throw it on this evening with my PJs and just be so comfy and snuggly. So yeah this is really lovely just there's not really much else same just a typical box standard hoodie I got it in a medium and it was only 17 99 so not too bad to be fair I don't really want to splash out and spend a lot on a hoodie because there's just no point because I only wear them in the evening or when it's dropped a bit colder and under a coat so I didn't want to spend a lot of money I was gonna get a black color and then Martin was like no no he's like remember we have got a dog that sheds fur ridiculously all year round so I decided against the black and got a lighter colour and then the final thing that I got was this beautiful dress now this really isn't me at all but I saw it on the model as soon as we walked into the shop and I was like I need to get my hands on that so it is a really lovely one where's what have I done here my goodness where's the top there we go. So it's this really lovely white dress with a huge leaf print on it. How pretty is that? It's very safari vibe and that's what's in at the moment. I have a, oh my lighting's going funny with that. I have a play suit from Primark for the honeymoon and it is khaki again and it's got this safari vibe going off. Um, so that's class in this summer if you didn't already figure that out um so yeah i just think this is really lovely um it's just got a oversized short sleeve and then it just cinches down it's got a belt and then it buttons all the way down and it does have does it have a split no it doesn't have a split but um, I like to keep a few buttons open at the bottom to create um, like a bit of a split because it goes very long, it goes to just above my ankles so I thought just to make it look a little bit less granny vibe and a little bit more stylish and to suit my figure um, I got it where um, I undo the buttons a little bit here um, it does go quite a low V and it buttons all the way down and if I wasn't wearing the belt around it to cinch it in it will look like a sack on. There's so much fabric and I thought you know what I need to try on a 10 and they didn't have one in store and I was like I'm not leaving it because I know I'm not going to get into town again for some time and they're going to end up not having my size in stock. So I'm just going to go ahead and get the 12 and I can cinch it in a little bit around the waist and it can be all floaty and really nice and summery. So it was only £24.99 which isn't bad at all um, but yeah I just think this is really beautiful. Um, you can wear it on quite a nice summer day. I was thinking with some nice pinky sandals. I've got some nice um, pink slip-ons with a bit of a heel. I just think that would look beautiful with this and a nice little pink handbag and you are good to go so yeah I'd probably wear this for work as well so I'll definitely be wearing this throughout the summer to get my money's worth out of it and then at the honeymoon as well I think that can be one of my evening looks 
So that is everything that I managed to find. I was very lucky because we only went into our local town as well and sometimes it's a bit like it's a hit and miss really. Um, you can pick up some really lovely stuff like I managed to do today or they just don't have anything in and you're walking home. Not walking but you're coming home a little bit disappointed. Um, but yeah, I've um, had a good shop. I hope you enjoyed um, watching this video, give it a big thumbs up if you did and please subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more. Um, don't forget to turn on your on the notifications too so you know when I am uploading a new video and yes, all that's left for me to do is to say goodbye and I will see you next week. Bye!